Hello, Arizona. It is time for the daily update from the Republican Party of Arizona. I am your chairwoman, Dr. Kelly Ward. A recent decision by the United States Supreme Court was a monumental and historic decision when it comes to who can and who cannot apply for citizenship if they are in our country illegally. Simply put, the Supreme Court held that the United States government can it can, in fact, block non-citizens from applying for a green card if they entered the country unlawfully and are under TPS, Temporary Protected Status. That's the program that shields foreign nationals present in the United States from removal if they've been subject to armed conflicts or environmental disasters in their homeland. In far too many cases of uh, of those cases in particular, the individuals just stay here and they apply to adjust their status to become lawful permanent residents and apply for a green card. That was a bit of an end around to lawful residency and citizenship, even though they had never been formally admitted to the United States of America. The ruling made clear that the executive branch may have some authority to confer forms of temporary legal status on those who cross the border without permission, but the Supreme Court reinforced that only Congress, only Congress, can provide a permanent answer to those in this country illegally who wish to pursue citizenship. This was no ordinary decision that affects just a couple of people not even just a few people. Currently, there are about 400,000, 400,000 people with TPS status in the country, and 85,000 have already managed to adjust their status as a path to citizenship. In their unanimous ruling, the United States Supreme Court ruled that temporary protected status does not constitute legal admission to the United States of America. Now, there are some TPS holders who have adjusted their status, but they had been lawfully admitted as a student or as an au pair or as a temporary worker. While we maintain that even that loophole must be further closed, every person who arrives in the U.S. needs to know that it is only a temporary form of relief from removal and that it will not and should not last forever. We've been far too lenient in allowing too many individuals to use and to abuse our generosity as a nation. The TPS program itself needs to be used only in the rarest of occasions. Congress must consider reining in the program substantially, such that only people in real danger back home are being allowed to take advantage of temporary protected status. As the Congress named it when it established the program, the emphasis was on temporary. Nonetheless, the Supreme Court ruling was a big victory for America and for all Americans who are concerned about our immigration policies and about protecting the rule of law and about who has the luxury of becoming a citizen of these great United States. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.